This particular video is about reviewing the workspace in Photoshop. And what I want to do is give you a real basic overview of what we work with all the time as a basic. So if you notice for starters, I have an Im image open, but my workspace is uh, a little bit scrambled. So what I want to do is reset my workspace and an easy way to do that is go to Window, Workspace, and Reset. It's in Essentials, and it resets it here. And also, if I wanted to change my workspace, instead of going to the menu, I can just pick Photography, and that tucks everything away in a default, which is really great. So, for starters, we have our toolbar here. And Adobe has this set up in a very specific manner. All of the tools in this top section here, these are all selection tools. And essentially you are able to move things, you're able to make a selection, uh, various different things like that. The second area below the eyedropper, if you notice that is spot healing, that it's showing you tool tips, the healing brush, the patch tool, content aware, the brush, the clone, the history, erase, all of these all the way down to the burn tool. These are all pixel editing tools and they change the pixels. So once again, selection tools up here, pixel editing tools all the way to the T. The T is a type tool and then everything below that, that is your pen tool and your path selection, these are vector tools. Those are related to uh, graphics and vector data. And then below that, you have the hand tool, the zoom tool, and then a dot, dot, dot. So the dot, dot, dot is all the other tools that may not be sitting in the toolbar, but you can bring them forward if you like to be able to have a specific tool available to you. Selection tools, pixel editing tools, and vector tools, they're all there under the dot, dot, dot. So right now it plays the, um, the frame tool and this is customizing the toolbar there. So let's hit cancel for now. And then below that we have the um, moving your default colors, arrow back and forth, your default right here. These are your default colors. So if I click in the middle of that and I go pick a red to work with, I can move it foreground, background, or I can go back to my default. This um, icon below is Quick Mask. This has to do with selections, which uh, we're not going to get into at this time. And then last but not least, you have your frame mode. So hitting the F key will change your frame mode. So it tucks certain things away if you just want to get different eyes on them. I'm uh, clicking on the move tool and then every single tool has different attributes. So these are the options for each tool. Attributes for the move tool, attributes for the patch tool, attributes for the eraser tool. Every single tool has different attributes or options. So th that's really important to know. And also the little arrow next to each tool means there are more options underneath. Okay, so that's a really quick review of what happens with the toolbar and all of the information up here. And remember, you also can get information for a specific process or a tool, mostly processes, in the top menu bar. So we have filters here under filter, 3D tools under 3D view lets you go see exactly what an image would look like at a specific size. So down here at the bottom of every image frame, there's information that tells you what value size it is. And I'm going to make that 50% for now and hit enter. And then also the next bar 
tells you data about document sizes, profiles, dimensions, but typically if it says size, it's going to have an M or a K. The M would be megabytes. And if it is the document dimensions, then it's going to show you in, this is in pixels. Um, you can also see what the current tool is. So there's a lot of information in this small area here. If I go up to my panels over here, I have a navigator that I can just use a slider to make an image bigger or smaller according to what I want. Little mountain, big mountain. And a lot of these tabs tuck away. You can take them right back, put them in place. When you see a blue bar, it means it's tucking itself right into that area again. The top panel here is a histogram. This is a graph of tonal qualities for this particular image. The graph will change according to whatever image you have open. So if I go back to Bridge and I browse really quick and let me pick up my happiness sign over here. This is the image that's active. You can see it there. You can see uh, the tool that I had. Let's is the eyedropper. Let's go back to document sizes. You can see it's a fairly small size at 100%. But look at the histogram. It's very, very different from our image. When I clicked on the bar up here, it gives you a whole different set of data there. Two very different images, a whole different set of information. Okay, over here we have libraries. This is if you have your own private uh, Adobe account and that would be Creative Cloud Libraries. Then we have adjustment layers, various different things that you can do to change your image. So um, all of these will be working through as we go through the class. Then the other default layers panel is typically layers where you can do different things like duplicate a layer, um, select something in a layer, make it uh, into a new layer. I'm hitting Command J. So now you can see we have layers there. Channels is color information and paths is related to vector information. And we don't have any of that so it's empty. But you'll find in this class uh, typically that's what you're going to be working with is layers. The other short panel right here, and we can enlarge that, if you notice, all I had to do was let my cursor go to a double arrow, and then you can see what my steps were that I worked on. Now, the history panel, everything goes away when you close your image. Even if you save it in a new format, this is just temporary information. That goes away. And then we also have actions. These are default actions that are, come with Photoshop and you can build more, which these are little scripts that make a task very quick. Each image will have properties or information. Pixel, it says this is a pixel layer here. If I go to layer one, the data will be slightly different. Um, there's some quick actions here. There's info from the um, dropper if I needed to know something about a specific color. If you notice as I cursor over it changes. And then if I'm using uh, the clone tool, it's also giving clone information. These are just defaults. You can open up other ones by going to window. Let me go ahead and let's get swatches. Now I have color and swatches available. I can also go and get under window again. I can go and get paragraph and this is some type information and character also showed up that shows that the last time this text tool was used I used this um, odd green uh, yellowish color. So um, all of these will sit here in this particular panel 
as quick access to various different tools. So really what we've done is we've made a real quick run through of the workspace in Photoshop. These are basics that you need to know to be able to get around. And let me go through these really quick, last but not least. These are uh, special things that you can do to a layer. The FX is a layer style and it brings up a new dialog for you to change things. You can also use this to get to an adjustment layer and moving the sliders I can make an image lighter or darker and then it creates a new layer just above where we were working. Um, we can also make a group if I wanted to make a group and put something in a group, I'm going to hit Command or Control Z to take a step back. And then the little plus down here is fairly new in Photoshop. It's basically creating a new layer. It will be right above what is highlighted and give you the option to start with a blank layer there. And then also uh, the trash can. We can delete the layer mask that came with that, and we can also delete the layer itself. So the trash can is just one way, and there are many ways to do um, functions in Photoshop, but this is just a real quick return view of the workspace in Photoshop.